Welcome to my new animated series all about science and nature. My name is Rebecca, this is Leopard Gecko, and today we're discussing why you shouldn't handle a frog with bare hands. Throughout the centuries, there have always been myths around handling frogs and toads, that simply touching them or even being urinated on by one can give you warts. This is a lie. Though I must also stress that if you handle a frog, or any pet for that matter, and then go on to lick your hands or eat food from your hands without washing your hands in between, this can always pose a risk of salmonella poisoning. So always remember to wash your hands after handling a pet. So why shouldn't you handle a frog, or any amphibian for that matter, with bare, dry hands? Amphibians have highly permeable skin, which allows them to absorb oxygen from water and dissolved oxygen in the air, aka breathe. This super absorbent skin, however, can also absorb salts, oils and chemicals on your hands, which can cause damage to the frog. This layer of skin, which is much thinner in amphibians than in mammals, also allows a frog to maintain critical physiological perimeters, such as respiration, water transport, immune function, iron regulation and predator defence, to name a few. The skin is also covered in incredibly important glands which play vital roles in a frog's life. The mucosal gland, which is usually located along the dorsal and ventral skin, secretes mucus to maintain moisture, permeability and elasticity. Of course, frogs can live in a range of environments. They can live up trees, on the ground, or spend much of their lives in water. Terrestrial and basking frogs, those who live predominantly on land and are exposed to hotter or drier conditions than other frogs, will secrete mucus at a more constant rate to aid in heat exchange and water balance. So handling a frog with bare hands could potentially damage these glands, which helps the frog's skin to remain moist and permeable so that it can actually breathe. Another type of gland found on the frog's skin is a granular gland. These glands contain bioactive molecules which help to protect the frog from microorganisms and predators. Sometimes these glands are known as venom glands, as in some species these will allow the frog to secrete serous fluids or toxic substances. This is probably most famous in the poison dart frog. These noxious chemicals are secreted through the granular gland, however since frogs do not have a central poison gland, this poison is only made possible by the frog's wild diet. I must stress that because of this, captive poison dart frogs are not actually poisonous. Another role of these glands, as I mentioned, is to protect the frog from microorganisms, bacteria, fungi and parasites. If this line of defence is damaged, it can weaken the frog's protection against potential diseases. So as you can see, by handling a frog, the salts, oils and chemicals on your own hands can not only damage the part of the frog's skin which allows it to breathe, but it can also damage these sensitive glands that play vital roles in maintaining the health of the frog. Of course there are exceptions to the rules. If a frog is in immediate danger and you have to quickly move it, then those few seconds of handling could save its life. And I'm sure it will be thankful. So how can you handle a frog safely? First, you must wash your hands thoroughly, ensuring all soap has been obliterated from your hands, as we do not want the frogs to absorb any harsh chemicals. You should also allow your hands to remain wet when handling a frog. Alternatively, you can handle them whilst wearing non-powdered vinyl gloves. Not only will this protect the frog from toxins on your hands, but since these gloves are disposable and can be replaced between handling different species, it should lessen the risk of spreading diseases. It is also important to choose vinyl gloves instead of latex ones, since there have been studies that show that latex gloves can be particularly damaging. A small study on African clawed frogs discovered that tadpoles exposed to both rinsed and unrinsed latex gloves died within 24 hours of exposure, most dying after only two hours. Even tadpoles whose tanks were cleaned by humans wearing latex gloves suffered, with four out of 12 of them dying within four hours. None of the tadpoles exposed to vinyl gloves showed any adverse effects. So avoid latex gloves when handling amphibians. 
Frogs come in all shapes and sizes, live in various environments and can make great pets. But one thing we need to keep in mind is that their skin is extremely sensitive and we must respect that and take steps to avoid damaging it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please boop that like button. But thank you for watching and goodbye.